Chappie. What's up guys, so some time ago I have watched Chappie and I've decided to create a character myself in Blender. This is the process of how I did it. in Cabo to shake off my cargo it went a little bit farther and then blew my so I went on a Google search for Chappie Pinterest was one of my uh, resources but I have used the wallpaper website which provided me really high resolution images that helped me to get much more deeper into the details of the character then I've put everything in the PRF which helped me to get everything more organized Step number two, block out. Creating a simple version of your character to understand the proportions and the shape. You can see it very often in sketching and it is a great to perceive all the shapes in a more simple form. Here I'm drawing in cubes with yellow and a cylinders with red to basically make my life easier. Then we can jump into Blender and do our solid block out. Step number three modeling. Because the Chappie is an already existing character, I didn't want to ruin what it will completely. So I went on some websites to look for free Chappie models that can have similar looking parts. Some of them were pretty good and some of them were like a from a different movie. And because the most models were made in CAD software, the mesh was unusable. So I used them only as a reference to model around them resulting in a low poly optimized mesh that is easy to control and animatable in a real time playback. But in most shapes I had to get a vision of them myself because some of the shapes were not looking similar like an actual chappy. Now we can bring our model to life with texturing. I have used technique of projecting and mixing images. This basically allows you to go out and take a photo of anything and use it as a texture and be creative as you want. You can basically relight your images or create an actual 3D model using this technique. Here you can see that I have used only black and white images to use as a mask to blend among all the different colors. I have done this process for all the materials because I wanted to make it flexible so I can change them to white, pink or dirty anytime in seconds and those material values can be even animatable. Detailing. For a better indicator I was using an image I found and then manually creating all the different variations and changing them through mapping node. Changeable emotions, graffiti, easter eggs, stickers and I've also made working fans screws and cables rigging the first thing that is very important is that you put your origin to the place where you want it to rotate select faces 3d cursor to your selection and origin to your cursor and repeat this process for all the parts you also need to correct your origin rotation otherwise you're not going to be able to rotate them correctly when it's going to be rigged so control period and rotate it however you need okay for the rig i have used the mixamo rig which i will link in the description to download okay now search for mixamo add-on and download the blender add-on which allows you to generate an ik rig with just one click I have adjusted the armature to the character proportions by moving the bones to the rotation positions of each object. Basically, select your object, cursor to select it, select your armature, go edit mode, select your bone and selection to cursor. And repeat this for all the bones. Then I have parented each object to each bone by selecting your object, pose mode, select the bone, control P parent to bone. Okay, and as a last step, now we can finally generate our rig. Mm -hmm. Great job! Now you have the character that is ready to see the world and give the life through the animation. So the only limit is your own creativity.
All the animations you see here are manually keyframed. I finalized the whole model and put up on Gumroad and ArtStation for free. And not only that, but in three different variations, Chappie himself, Orange Prototype and a police officer. Follow me on Instagram and tag me. I'd love to see what you're coming up with this model. I'm posting their breakdowns and something from my journey to share my progress. I've also decided to create Patreon where I'll be putting up more freaking content like tutorials, assets, breakdowns, project files, and even more. But yeah, I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for walling in my time. And yeah, see ya.